Yes, Mace, how you doing, man? You all right? Yeah, I'm good. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Listen, man, we'll jump straight into it because I know you haven't got time. Listen, 82 appearances, man. 21 goals already for Manchester United. What is next? Obviously, you've signed a new deal, yeah. which is great as well. Congratulations. But Thank what you. is next on Mason Greenwood? Really, coming towards near the end of the season now, we're in um, some cup competitions, hopefully, to get some silverware for um, for the club, obviously. Um, with me individually, I don't really think about individual goals that much. It's always the, the team first, so I've always wanted to win a trophy at United. I'd rather win a trophy at United than score as, as many goals as it is, really. Coming through the youth system at Man United and obviously getting in the first team, who have been the biggest influences on your on your career so far? Marcus, definitely one. And then also a coach, Karen McKenna, the assistant coach at United, because he gave my he gave me a chance in the youth team. He put me two years up to play in the youth team. So... um a lot of faith in me there and obviously um, Marcus is he's done it all really through the ranks like um, like I've done really so he knows how it goes so he's always helped me and spoke to me and um, told me about the challenges and um, and what the what to expect from the first team. So you, in terms of you I spoke about him being your influence outside of the club like did you did you have any people that you looked at and modeled your game on at all because I see similarities with someone like Robin, Robin Van Persie for instance um, the way that you strike the ball and even like back to rude the way you just shift the ball and bang like is there anyone you can tell me what player i used to watch was um r9 the brazilian ronaldo i used to always watch videos and clips of him in the car always coming up to training literally every single day i used to um you know he step overs all the time he used to do it on the goalkeeper and on the plays and that's i just used to pick up from it and just literally always used to do what he used to do like the the fake shots, the step overs and stuff, and you should just practice it in training, and then obviously do it in the games. And now it's just, it's just, it's just stuck to me, really. So you're just like any other kid who's just seen something on TV. You've seen R9 and said, "That is me. I'm going to get something out of his game." And, and the step over, now you mention it, that is that is Ronaldo. Yeah, I just always, I used to always used to watch him, and used to always be, used to be fascinated the way he used to do the step over, and you used to always think, obviously to do it in free play, it's alright, but then for him to do it on a keeper, on to um, the one v ones, how he also used to do it on a goalkeeper. It just used to amaze me, really. I always used to, to practice and I used to do it in training and stuff, so it's just always stuck with me. So we've seen you play out, out wide on the right quite a lot, but we, we've seen you play out front uh, a number of times as well. Where do you see yourself playing if you fast forward in three, four years? I don't know. I don't really know, to be honest. I'd, I'm happy to play on the right, I'm happy to play up front, but um, I'm not really sure, but I've always wanted to be a striker when I was younger, but... I've also been a winger also in the youth team and obviously when I was younger in the academy, I'm just in between both of them really. So um, I would like to play up front eventually when, if I was, when I'm older, get fill out a bit more, get a bit bigger and stronger for the, to the, for the, because the centre half's always, um, as you know, always big and strong and at the back. So um, it's, it's a place where I want to play. I do want to play centre forward eventually, but I'm always happy on the right and um, it's a good position to work from really. So Cavani's coming to the club. Um, what type of influence has he had on you? Has he taken you under his wing? Has he give you any good pointers around the training ground and, and during the 90 minutes on, a, on, a, on the, for the first team? Yeah, with him, really, obviously, you don't speak the same language, but you can, you can just tell, like, the way he plays, the way he trains. It's just, like, he already knows he's, like, setting an example and you can either watch him or you can either, like, don't pay attention, really. So I always pay attention. I always watch the way he finishes, the way he does the runs and stuff. And... Um, he does tell me, he tells me what to do in the box sometimes and he's probably scored about 200, 300 goals to doing the same movement in the box over and over again. So some people say it's luck when he does the movement, but he's probably doing that four, five, six times a game. So um, it's just, it's good to have him around the club and to watch and learn from him. Just a couple of quick fire questions here now, yeah? What's the best goal you've scored so far for Man United? Probably it's either the one against Watford in the Premier League, and then the second one against Bournemouth. Them two are my, probably my my favourite goals. Probably. What's been your best moment in a Man United shirt? My debut against PSG, hundred percent, hundred percent. What did it feel like coming on there? Like obviously it's like Champions League football, man. And the, the music, the the atmosphere and stuff. What what what? Of living lasting memories for you from that day? Yeah, just even watching it. I I remember watching the 08 final at home watching that and knowing that's the Champions League and um, to end up being there and PSG, I was with also 
Angel was there, I think Brandon to Heath was also there, so it was a big moment for the academy and the whole club really, but for me to, to come on the pitch and participate, it was, it was amazing, it was a dream come true really. As a striker, what striker do you look at and think, you know, if I could add that one element to my game um, from world football, who would that be and what would it be? Mine's still from Eddie with his headed. He's, I've not, I've not, I've not scored a headed goal this season for me. I've not really had many chances, but to add one thing from my game, that's probably my, my weakest area is, is heading the football. I'm always practicing after training, after, after all the training sessions really. But to have one thing, it'd be with Eddie and his heading. It's in training you see it, and sometimes you're just like, how would you get in that position? How do you even like score a header from there? So um, it's, it's good. I can't finish an interview without speaking about Oli and what he's done for you in terms of a striker. Does he give you pointers? Because Oli was a, a magical goal scorer and you're a striker. Do, does he give you any pointers and information in movements and how to hit a ball, etc.? Yeah, obviously he's, 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 he's done it all really. And obviously um, he's, he spoke to me, he's told me and um, he, he came and did his coaching badges at United when he was at United. And I was only like the under eight, so under nines. And I, I trained with his son. I remember he was telling me that I couldn't remember because I was obviously I was a lot younger and he, he told me about it. So it was it was good to hear from that. But he always speaks about movements, how to get into the into the box, shooting and stuff. So it's it's a good benefit to have him here. Brilliant. Listen, man, mate, I know you've got to get on a plane. I really appreciate your time, man, and just keep banging them goals in the same as possible. Yeah, I'll do my best. Thank you.